and this is Kay and welcome to Miss K Gone Postal. So today <laughs> I'm feeling a little sedity. I'm drinking wine today. So you know, no no regular, you know, whiskey glass. We're gonna be up in sedity. And no, it is not Stella Rosa, even though that shit is good as fuck though. <laughs> so I wanted to have a discussion. Wait, before I start, don't forget everybody, what's this month? Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Can y'all see? Yep, Breast Cancer Postal Service. Don't forget, wear your pink, honey. Save the tatas. Save them all. Anyway, I wanted to have a discussion with you guys about this article that just came out recently about what we've been talking about before, me and JH, about all these changes that are supposed to occur. And the Joy put out um, a little interview, it was a little article that came out about him telling you guys, postal workers, hey, you need to keep working. This ain't got nothing to do with you. I need you to keep working regardless of all the changes. Let's take a sip on that because this wine is good. Oh my God. Mm. Mm, it feels so good to be so sedated. Yeah. Anyway, so he said in his little message to us postal workers that he needs for you guys to still keep working. That these changes are coming. They're inevitable. But that doesn't stop the fact that you guys still need to keep working. You mail handlers still need to keep mail handling. You clerks need to still keep clerking. Your drivers still need to keep driving. It's not going to be an overnight change, but it's going to be a change. Now, I'm going to have the article in the link below. If you watch JH, I think he has the article in his comment section below as well. Read the article. It's very insightful about what he's talking about. Now, he's trying to entice you by saying, oh, you're going to get new, cleaner, brighter facilities to work in. And even though you may have to commute further, it's going to be better for you guys. Really, bro? Really? Why the fuck can we not have new, cleaner, brighter facilities now? Please tell me that. Why do you have to make the changes and cut out all this other stuff for us to have new, cleaner, brighter facilities? Bro, that's what I feel about it. Anyway, so he's also saying that starting this month, they're already beginning a pilot program in regards to some of the locations that are going to start some of these implementations. Now, I can say this with certainty. Some of you guys have put in my comments that some of your locations, they've stopped doing a lot of things already. Or they've already moved some of you guys to a different location and they're about to close your location. I've seen you guys' comments. I've seen some of that stuff that's going on that you're talking about a lot. A lot of people on the West Coast have discussed that in their comments. People, remember my last conversation with you guys? The shit is coming. I do not care what you think you think is going to go down. It's happening already. And there are fellow postal workers who are telling you guys that this shit is already started and you don't even know nothing about it. I told y'all, right? And crazy ass JH been telling y'all about shit going on and y'all begging for change. And what's going on? Change is coming. And this man has already told y'all, but he said it very nice. Hey, I'm going to give you new clean facilities. Hey, we've already started pilot programs. Hey, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. It's coming. So remember what we discussed? Do not get on the uproar about this foolishness. Run around like you have no job. You will have a job. Like I told the carriers before, hey, it's going to be mostly hard on you guys because they are going to make you go a little bit further and they are going to make you leave your stations to come to bigger facilities. Remember what we discussed? The spokes. And the hubs, we discussed that, right? Okay. So, also, piggybacking off of this article that DeJoy said, um, he said that in regards to the changes that are going to take place over the next 10 years, it is, and these are his words, a fool's errand, you'll see in the article, that these changes are going to take place the way they're planning them. As we all know, you plan something, on paper it sounds good, in theory, it sounds good when you're trying to implement it or when you're implementing the program, it doesn't go the way you want. So then you're going to have to do a little give and take. So regardless of when these, the full fledged, you know, program that he's trying to do to change the post office actually gets online hundred percent, there's going to be some things that some of you guys probably really not going to like. Some things probably I won't even fucking like because the program, you know, it's the post office, nothing runs smoothly. Nothing is planned. Like that program they started the other day with the, with the stations and they were downloading shit and it didn't work. Yeah, that's a whole different thing. But 
We told you guys. We told you. And if you notice too, stamps are going to go up again. Oh, oh my God. Again? Right after this man said about his 10-year plan, right after this man told us postal workers that we need to keep working, and right before the holidays, baby, if you do not see the writing on the wall, I don't know what to tell y'all. I honestly don't know what to tell y'all. It's like I'm talking to the wall. If you're not listening to me, and you're not listening to crazy ass JH, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because we're telling you the real shit that's going on. Read the fucking article that he put out there. He's serious. This man is dead ass serious. But he's trying to smooth it over. The article is not, he's not being belligerent. He's not being rude. He's not saying, you motherfuckers need to work. That's not what he's saying. He's just saying, keep working as usual. Keep working as regular. Because I'm still doing changes and it's going to happen regardless. And yes, carriers are going to be moved. And yes, some locations will be changed or they'll be closed. And yes, we're going to have these Big, beautiful facilities. Now, not in this article, but in a previous article, I'm going to have to find for you guys. These facilities are supposed to be like Amazon facilities. So what they're going to do, and you probably have seen it if you work at a plant. If you work at a station, you might not have seen this already. At my plant, I've seen some of this. So they changed out the light bulbs to this new fluorescent shit. Ah, you're thinking about it now. You go, well, you know what, Miss K. Wright, this shit seemed different. You know why they've done that, sweetie kids? They're trying to acclimate your crazy asses to the changes that are about to come. No, I'm just playing with you. They're doing that because of the Amazon facilities. They have this fluorescent ambient light to simulate sunlight. Because all of our facilities, even federal prison, they all built the same way. And they don't have any sunlight. They don't have any windows. And they don't have any type of light coming through. Some facilities do, I believe, in New York. But most of us don't. We're in the dark all day. So they're changing the lights out because in your new facilities, this new fluorescent ambient light is going to be all over the building so that you will not feel so depressed. <laughs> okay, I'm depressed just thinking about it. Hold on. Damn that wine color. Mm, so good to be so diddy. So, if you've seen this, this is part of the small changes that they're making. They're also supposed to change the flooring in the new buildings because it's supposed to, the light is supposed to hit the flooring and it's supposed to make it lighter and brighter so that you have a better work experience. This is what he's saying to you guys. This is what he's saying is going to happen. The buildings. He's focusing on the buildings right now because he's trying to sell it to you guys. There's nothing to sell. We have no choice in this matter. We don't get an option to decide if we're going to buy this house or not. It's already ours. We've been grandfathered this house. It was in the will. And now we got to fucking take it and work it. What can we do? You know, hey, like I told you guys before, at this point in the game, you cried for change. You cried, cried, cried for change. Some of y'all, not all y'all. And some of y'all, some old timers, y'all are in this disbelief that the post office is not going to change. The post office is not going to close. That's not what's going to happen. It's not going to close. We're not going to be folded or enveloped into something else. But the post office and the people who run it are realizing it's a business and it needs to be ran as such. So these changes are going to occur because guess what? It's about shmoney. Once again, we come back to the same shit again about the shmoney. And some of you guys are not getting it. Some of you guys are saying, oh, they're going to close the post office. Oh, they can never close the post office. We're not saying that, baby. That ain't what nobody's saying. What this man is saying is that it's time to make the money. It's time to make the donuts. And if you motherfuckers ain't on board, it doesn't matter if you're on board or not. He's going to keep making fucking donuts and you can do what the hell you want to do. And it ain't got to be here. Okay. Anyway, so listen, don't forget, read the new article that just came out. That he that came out, I think it's through, um, you might can go on OIG, but I'm going to put a link in the comments so that you guys can click on this article and read. This is his mouth. This is from DeJoy's mouth. This is not from anyone else. These are his words. In regards to what he's telling postal workers to do in regards to what's going to happen. Yes, this month there are pilot programs that have already begun or that are about to start where they're starting implementing some of these changes, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, already. So if you're in a location where some of these changes are occurring, hey, drop it in the comments. Let me know what's going on at your particular location. How is it affecting you? 
Have carriers already moved? Have they already been sent someplace else to work right now? Because in a lot of places, they don't have a definitive hub or a spoke yet, but they are moving some carriers to a plant that might be nearby, okay? If it hasn't affected you yet, then that's fine. You know, don't be, oh my God, uh, no. It may not even affect you. It might just skip over you and go someplace else. But I'm just letting you guys know, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what we're here for. We're here to inform each other, oh, and to have a drink. So remember my fossil freeze. Always remember, love and light, peace.